welcome to Homestead Corner. I'm Jenny and today we are going to whip up a simple DIY makeup remover and face wash and also a face serum. We absolutely love simple DIYs. I think they are the best when you can do it yourself, make it homemade, and you know exactly what's in it. You don't have to worry about the ingredients because you just know what is in there because you put it together. And that is my favorite thing to do. Face washes can have all kinds of crazy things in them, but we have been using this simple face wash. It removes makeup really well, which is great. I absolutely love that. And it is gentle on the skin and works awesome. We just love it. My teenagers use it. I use it. We all use this in our house. And I'm 50, so, and I also make a face serum. My kids don't use it that much, but they can, and I use it all the time on my face underneath my, after I wash, I just put the face serum on so it helps moisturize my face and get all those good properties in there. So we're just gonna use a few simple ingredients for these two DIYs. I'm gonna use some Castile soap, coconut oil, um, and witch hazel. I'm also going to use a little bit of castor oil for the face serum and a few essential oils. So let's jump in and get started. We are going to start with the face wash because this one is the most difficult and it's really still super simple. So you're just going to need a wide mouth jar. I use a pint, a pint size wide mouth for this because the cotton, the little reusable rounds these are uh, microfiber rounds. You can get these off Amazon. I'll put a link to these ones that I purchased. Um, and I bought these myself. They're not a review or anything. Um, these are, I like these because you can just chuck them in the washer. They come out super clean after. You can see even with the makeup, they come out nice and clean. There's a few different colors here. and But they fit really good in the pint size jar. If you're going to use um, the cotton rounds, like you can get the Dollar Tree or Walmart, they fit better in one of these 8-ounce jars. They'll fit nice and tight in there. So you could use that if you are going that route. But today, I'm going to use the pint because I'm using the reusable cloths. And I'm going to mix my stuff in an 8-ounce jar. Okay, I've got a little measuring cup with teaspoons and tablespoons on it that I usually use for this. So we're going to use four teaspoons of coconut oil for this. And the fractionated coconut oil stays liquid all the time. That's the one you want so it doesn't get solid on you. So we're going to just take our four teaspoons of coconut oil and put it right in there. You can use regular measuring spoons for this. That will work just perfectly. And then we're gonna add some witch hazel. The coconut oil is super moisturizing for your skin and the witch hazel is an excellent astringent. So we are gonna put four tablespoons. Let's turn this to our tablespoon measurement. We're gonna put four tablespoons of witch hazel in here. So this is gonna be a nice astringent for our face and it cleans everything up really nice without drying you out too bad because you've got that coconut oil in there and that is going to help. And then we're gonna come in with our Castile soap. You can use Dr. Bronner's for this. And we only want a little bit of this. We don't need tons of it because it's gonna mix in. We need about two teaspoons, three, three teaspoons, sorry. <laughs> we need about three teaspoons of the Castile soap, and this is all natural olive oil based soap. So I really like that. Okay, and once we've got all of those in there, we've got our coconut oil, so it's super moisturizing. We've got our witch hazel, so that is a wonderful astringent for your skin. And we've also got our Castile soap, so this is going to clean really well. And then I'm going to take some tea tree oil, and I'm using doTERRA because that's what I have on hand, but use whatever brand you like. You do not have to use this one. There are lots of good brands out there that are much more affordable. 
So I put two drops of tea tree in here and I'm going to come in with five drops of frankincense. I love frankincense. It is wonderful for your skin. It helps with so many different issues. It helps even out the skin tone. Um, it helps with blemishes. It helps heal it. It is just so good. And we're going to put five drops of lavender as well in here because lavender is super soothing on the skin. And we just love that. And it smells good. I love the way it smells with the frankincense also. I'm not a big fan of the tea tree scent, but it is great for cleaning the skin and again, all kinds of issues. I'm just gonna close this up as tight as I can and I'm gonna shake this and get everything incorporated really well so we can put this on our little pads. So once we've got our mixture all mixed up, we're going to let that sit. It's quite bubbly on the top, but those are going to come down. And then we're, I'm just stacking up my little rounds so I can use these. These are reusable, but you can definitely use those cotton rounds. Those work wonderful if you want disposable. And then you can just chuck them right out. And I just push them in and we're going to push these down. So you can really fit a lot in here. And um, you only need one of them if you got tons of makeup on. If you wear a lot of makeup, then you might need two. But we usually just use one. I get a couple more in here. And then we're just going to pack this up with these. And either your cotton rounds or the little microfiber ones, whatever you want to use, it's totally up to you. They both work great. And then I'm going to take my mixture and I'm going to pour it right over the top. Simple and easy. This, these things don't have to be difficult. A lot of people really overthink all of this. And this is going to come up a little bit, but we'll just keep pushing it down and make sure everything is getting soaked in this jar. So we're just going to push this down. And you can see that liquid comes right up over the top. So everything is nice and soaked. Okay, once I get everything in there, I'm just going to turn this upside down for a little while and let it sit like this. Make sure everything is nice and soaked through. When I'm ready to use these, you can just grab one out, squeeze it a little bit. The liquid will fall back in the jar for the next one, and you just wash your face with it. Just simple and easy. We just love these, and they are wonderful for a all-natural face wash, and you know what's in it because you made it. So now we're going to make our face serum, and this, again, is super easy. Um, you do not need any special tools. You're going to need a roller bottle for this, and I'm using a 10 milliliter roller bottle, so that's how I got my measurements. If you're using something bigger, you're going to need more essential oils in there to, you know, get the right amount. So I'm going to start with 10 drops of lavender because lavender is so calming and soothing on the skin so I just put 10 drops right in there and I just love lavender and frankincense are just my favorite for any kind of skin issue really definitely do your research before you use any new oils on your skin because they can be um, a little potent and you can burn yourself and get hurt I'm going to do 10 drops of frankincense and you can just feel the circulation in your face when you put this on and I love that. It's just a little tingly. It doesn't burn or anything like that, but you can feel the little tingle on your face and that is fabulous. So frankincense helps to even out skin tone. Um, it helps with so many different things. There are t tons and tons of research online how great it is for you and I just love it. And then I'm going to add five drops of this um, Copaiba. This enhances your other oils, and I love that. This is really thick, this one. Um, so we just, I love Copaiba. It's another one of those oils that you got to have because there's so many things you can do with it. And then I'm going to fill this up with castor oil. And I use castor oil because it is thicker. 
and it helps your skin absorb it. It pulls all those essential oils deeper into your skin. Castor oil alone has tons of benefits. Um, if you've ever used castor oil packs or anything like that, you will know castor oil is amazing. And I just love it. I try to put it in all my skin products whenever I'm making anything. And I'm just filling this bottle up with this. You do not have to use castor oil if you don't like it. You could definitely go with like an olive oil or jojoba or whatever you like for your skin. Use that definitely. You can always mix up the oils. If you see a recipe and you don't love the oil that they use or you feel like it's too thin or too thick, you can change out the oil. It really works that way and you can use the oil that you love. And I'm just filling this up with my castor oil. All right, once you have your castor oil in there, you can put your little top right back on, make sure it clips in, and then your cover, and we're gonna give this a shake. Woohoo! And that's it. Your face wash and your face serum are ready to go. And make sure you label them so you know what they are. Um, we keep these on the side of the sink, so I'm sure we won't mistake in those. Um, and the face serum, I just, I use these, just wash my face as normal with them, get all that makeup, everything off, all the yuck from the day, and then I use my face serum, and I like to use the roller bottle because I can just roll it on and then rub it in, but you could put this in a dropper bottle as well if you prefer to just put a few drops here and there and rub it in, whatever works for you, do it that way. So bust out your essential oils and a couple basic ingredients and you have got some nice clean skincare that you made yourself and you know the quality of it. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.